Hey Threadheads, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying this little San Juan worm variation. It's called the zebra worm. It's got a little bit of a lightly weighted body here with a little bit of heavy copper wire. And the uh, chenille's marked up a little bit just to give it a little bit of a variegated look. So this is one that was shown to me by the late Ian Colin James. He was a guide here in Southern Ontario. And let's get started. So first we're going to take a, uh, we're gonna be using an egg hook for this one. This is the Mustad C67S. I'm gonna be tying this in a size eight today. So I use that hook for quite a few uh, egg patterns and uh, a number of steelhead patterns. A nice, really heavy wire hook. And it's got a nice, large, straight eye. For thread, we're going to be using some UTC 70D. And we'll just start off by putting a base layer of thread starting behind the eye. And we're just going to take that a little bit, kind of halfway between the point of the hook and the barb. So we're going to use a little bit of ultra chenille. I've got a San Juan red ultra chenille here that we're going to be using. And one thing that I do is I kind of pre-measure these. So I'll take, uh, I'll tie one to the length that I want it at. And then I'll, if I'm tying five or six, I'll just kind of cut a bunch of lengths. So I can kind of whip these off fairly quickly. To, like I said, it's a fairly simple pattern. So you can tie these in just a couple minutes. So we're just gonna bind that down. And if you stop there, it's basically your basic San Juan worm, but we're gonna add a little bit more to this one. So we're gonna be using some copper wire to add a little bit of weight here. And for this, I'm using the large size ultra wire. So cut a length off here, and we'll start by just kind of tying that in along the side of the shank here. You want to make sure you use quite a few wraps. Um, if you pull that right now, it's going to come out. One thing that I have done is you can leave a tag in and fold it back, but one thing I want on this pattern is for it to be uh, quite uniform in the in the body here so we'll just tie that in we'll add a little bit of head cement just to kind of get things a little bit more secure here we're going to add to this a little bit later so let's put our thread on the front end here and then what we're going to do is we're going to just start wrapping that wire. We want that wire to be touching wraps. So kind of, kind of pull it back as you wrap it. And then that'll help the wires kind of butt up against each other so you don't have a lot of gap in between. See a little bit got in there. That's okay. You want to kind of try and keep that as tight as you can, though. We're going to take it to there, and we're going to add a couple wraps just to catch that in. And then we'll go in front. And then we'll kind of go behind the thread there a couple times. Now we're going to come in with some wire cutters here and we're just going to cut that as close as we can. Don't want to use our scissors here. This wire is really thick so it uh, can dull your scissors fairly quickly. And then we're just going to round that edge with our scissors. So I just kind of put the flat end of my scissors and just 
push it down. And that'll help wind it into the body. And then we're gonna take our whip finish tool. And we'll give it a couple whips. I'm gonna double that just for fun. And we're gonna give this body a little bit more durability. So I'm just going to take my bone dry and we're gonna give that a quick coat. You wanna get it on there a little more liberally than you would on just a regular head. Make sure you get those thread wraps there. If you don't have the uh, bone dry resin, you probably wanna add a coat or two of uh, some head cement, something like uh, Sally Hansen's hard as nails, something like that. So we'll go ahead and cure that. It's going to toughen that fly up a little bit, add a little bit extra weight. It's going to sink nicely for you. All right, for this next part, make sure you've got an adult in the room who's good with fire. So we're just going to take a lighter. We just want to singe the ends of these. So I just like to kind of hold that in place, light my fire and just give it a couple quick kisses you get that nice taper look for one in the back. I like to do the same. Just be careful because it does get fairly hot. All right, so the last step in this fly. Just want to take a Sharpie or permanent marker. And uh, one thing you can do is you can kind of roll that chenille in your fingers and just kind of tap it with the marker a few times and I like to go all the way up to the end here and just give the back of that fly just a little bit of color as well You don't need too much, just kind of breaks up the uh, monotony of the red color or the orange or the pink or whatever you use. So we do a few different colors of these. Just add one more stripe in there. There we go. And there you go, that's the zebra worm. It's a nice little fly for uh, late season trout. And even caught a couple steelhead on something like that, although it wasn't specifically targeting. Hope you enjoy that. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll get you entered into my next draw for some of the flies and decals. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.